Aziz, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Aze in the Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you are new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, it looks like the train of weddings and marriages has finally hit one of the ladies of the BB Niger world. And I am talking about a lady from the level up. Yes, guys, Chomzi, ex BB Niger housemate Chomzi, becomes the very first level of housemate to actually get married. And the first female housemate this year to actually get married if i'm not mistaken yes guys chomzi is now officially off the market she got married to her labu or gafigo now for those of you who already know and those who do not know you know this guy you know there was a whole lot of controversy you know um surrounding their relationship from the start about you know his ex-wife i'll be his wife and whatnot well he took her to Bali and then, you know, the rest is history, like they say. Chomzi is now a wife and not just a wife. Chomzi is now an expecting mom. Yes, guys. I know I gave you guys that just some weeks back, you know, at a naming ceremony that both of them attended. Chomzi was seen wearing a flowing gown. And I was like, hmm, why are you Chomzi wearing this flowing gown? Because the Chomzi we know will always wear her skin tight, body hugging outfits. And all of a sudden, she's wearing this free-flowing gown. And I'm like, okay, maybe there is a burn in the oven. And looking at her wedding videos, you could see how she's trying so hard to conceal it. Yes, guys. But if you look closely, you would actually see the baby bump there. All in all, all I just have to say is a very big congratulations to her. Yes, guys, she is having a baby and she is now a wife. A very big, massive, massive congratulations to her. Yes, also congratulations to one of my favorite music artists, Johnny Drill. Yes, guys, as he and his wife welcome their baby girl. Yes, I mean, it's good news. It's raining babies here and there. Hope you are ready to collect your own before the year ends. Yes. Now, away from that, let's talk about Fina, the BB Niger female winner from the season seven of the show. Now, Fina has had a series of interviews lately. Uh, she had the one with Doyen, which was released, I think, um, a day ago. And then she had this one that was just released today um, with Hero Daniels. This is Fina's second time of appearing on the Heroes Therapy Session and all of that. And oh, how can I even forget? Spill with Fina premiered yesterday. Um, she had her first episode with musician Erega and trust me that episode was insightful it was educating and I think the reason why people have not really said much about it is because it's not what they were expecting maybe they were expecting Fina to grab the microphone and start saying trash but they were disappointed because that's you know um podcast yesterday was filled with a whole lot of wisdom even though she also shared a light you know about her own personal predicament with her family and all of that. Her guest was spectacular. Erega finished work. His wisdom is just top notch. I enjoyed it. And I think you guys should go watch it too. It's on Glitch Studios or Glitch Africa Studios um, YouTube channel. Still on Fina, I took out my time to actually watch her therapy session with Hero Daniels. And oh my goodness, it was one of her saddest interviews. I mean, I've never seen Fina this vulnerable in any interview before. Honestly, like, the Fina we always know has always been, you know, bubbly, full of life, always trying to, like, be funny, you know, or just, you know, be her, you know, out there kind of self in her interviews. But this one was different. We saw a sober Fina. We saw a Fina just by listening to her by the sound of her voice you could tell that this baby is going through a lot i mean the the whole interview covered a lot from her family situation which was like the main focus of the interview you could see that this baby is scarred honestly and you know we she talked about what brought about her whole abortion you know thing almost it's easy to judge people without actually 
walking a mile in their shoes. I'm not even sure if I can walk a mile in Fina's shoes because uh, uh, what we know as a people or as a society is, you know, if anything is happening on the outside, the people are chasing you, you run back home because home is where, you know, you have people that's always there to welcome you, to give you a hug. But for her, it's the opposite. I almost cried, but I just had to hold myself as a big girl that I am listening to her. She talked about the lies that have been peddled against her in blogs, you know, and Hero was actually very, you know, um, kind enough to give her words of advice, you know, telling her sometimes maybe you should just go the Brenner boy way, you know, have a management that will handle all your social media pages, you know, not be the person to react and all of that. You know, she talked about, you know, how she doesn't really have friends anymore, especially with her BB Niger ex-housemate. I was a bit shocked by that, but then I recalled myself from that show because I might be cordial with someone, you know, and not be friends with them. I mean, before you can call somebody your friend, you must be sure that this is somebody that is worthy to be your friend. So she can actually be, you know, cordial with all of them and not be friends with them. And she also talked about the whole Chichi situation. She talked about the whole blessing CEO situation. She talked about how some of these drugs or most of these drugs are affecting her bag. And I think it's something that before the year runs out, if you are a person that you know, throws this housemate. It's a thing you should go watch. Yes, guys. And also her interview with Doyen, where she talked about losing 17 deals. One major one during the whole time of the whole thing that they said about she slapping Groovy and people calling her an abuser and the brand saying, you know what? We do not want to work with somebody that has a tag of an abuser. And it's actually, I don't know. If you are a person, all I just have to say is if you're a person that you naturally troll people without actually knowing or you fabricate or cook. I think that's what it's called on Twitter. You know how to cook lies on people. I think you should go watch those interviews because I don't think it's right for you just to just sit behind your keypad or your keyboards or your whatever and just be cooking lies on people and making their own lives miserable. No, they put some sound for other people's business. You know, good. Anyways, I just said, you know what, let me come and talk to you guys. Let it not be as if say, Ezine has abandoned her people. I can never do that. I just decided to like focus on me for a day or two. Yes, guys. I mean, it's a festive season. The year is running to an end or coming to an end rather. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Chumsy's marriage and um, Fina's, you know, interviews lately. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams. And I love to say a belated Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year in advance.